Hi everyone, so I'm back to share two little journals with you. Um, these are made out of uh, envelopes. Well, the covers are made from envelopes. They're that size envelope, which is um, an A5 size, obviously folded in half. And obviously I've decorated them, I've sewn them. And then I have filled them with all my leftover bits that I have. I've still got tons, so I'm going to be making a few more of these, I think, over the next few weeks. Um, each journal measures six and a quarter by four and a half. They have one signature. There are 64 pages front and back in each one. Um, actually, the butterfly one has 64 pages and this one here has 68 pages. And they've both got some uh, lace trim down the spine. That is the back of that one. I've used um, so many different people in here. <laughs> Not people, but their designs. My porch prints, Artie Mays, Tsunami Rose. There is Dreams, etc. in there. There is, oh, there's probably other people as well. I will mention it as I go through. So I will do a quick flip of this one. And these will both be listed in my shop if anyone's interested. So that is the back. That's the front. Um, this is actually my porch prints and because as you know if you if you watch me a lot oh gosh I've got a big knot in here now um, I accidentally bought uh, printer paper which was um, A5 instead of A4 so I have printed out a lot of stuff um, ready for little journals like that but not everything was uh, you know, some some of this stuff was in my stash for ages, so I've just tried to um, use it up. So I've just coffee dyed the envelope, and then I stitched all that um, the the paper from my porch prints. I stitched that all around, and then this is my porch prints as well. And I think this is called Shabby Ledger. I'm just checking I'm in the frame. Then I've just, like I say, it's just random pieces. There's, uh, this is from Artie Mays. Kind of remember what kit that was from now because I just know it's Artie Mays. Um, this is Artie Mays. That is the, um, I can't remember what that kit's called now, but you'll probably remember it. Oh, Foxglove, that's what it's called, Foxglove. Uh, these are Artie Mays as well. And what I did was I uh, used beeswax on them and it's kind of made them a little bit see-through so i put them in there that was when i got my beeswax i tried that ages ago uh this is Artie maze as well some of it's been backed some of it hasn't some of it was already backed this is tsunami rose uh, i've used some washi tape the washi tape that i used was if anyone watched me on uh, watches me watches me follows me on um instagram i had bought this and it's so lovely I got it on amazon and you get all these washies i must admit it was 10 pounds so i don't know what that is in dollars but there isn't actually a lot on each roll but i guess it's still you know i've still got a good variety i would buy it again i was just i did expect to have more on the roll um but there is i mean there's there is a lot more to use but that's the make and and I got that next day, so it wasn't actually. It's obviously somewhere in the UK that stocks that because I did, I did, I did do it on Prime and got it the next day. So I used some of that. We've got a little flip out here, um, some don't know what that is, but it's some paper. <laughs> uh, this is actually from Nature's Remedies, just an envelope. There's nothing in it. This is from the Fox Glove. I've just got the Fox Glove Kit from Artie Mays. Uh, oops. Um, this is from Dreams Etc. From one of our collage kits. Then I used some scraps to make these pockets. And there's music paper, dictionary paper. And these little uh, definition words are from my porch prints. Inside there we have um, this cabinet card. Which um, is a printable from somewhere. I can't remember where. Ticket here, that's from Artie Mays. Uh, don't know who that's from now, I can't remember. Might be my porch prints, I kind of remember. That's my porch prints. Because it's been in my tubs for ages, I just really can't remember everyone. Uh, some more washi here. This is Mrs. Cox. 
here we have another foxglove um, tag, which is just paper clipped on there. This is my porch prints as well. It's just been coffee dyed. My porch prints. <clears throat> this is an Artie Mays pocket. And the tag is from the old design shop, which is on Etsy, not the blog. A vintage letter, some more digital, some more washi. Another little flip. I think this is my porch prints as well. It's another one of these um, beeswax. It actually makes it feel like vellum on this. It feels really nice. And it's not greasy or anything like that. Little tag from Sunflower Kit. That's from Dreams Etc. <clears throat> Centre of the Signature. So these are proper little kind of junky journals. Not made with junk, but just thrown in all my scraps in there. I've got a little ticket that I've made as a little like, corner tuck. Uh, this is from Tsunami Rose. I think that's Artie Mays. Another little flip. Some more washi. Just made um, using, again, scrap pieces. Uh, made a little uh, pocket there. This has been beeswaxed as well. Looks lovely. And it does make it look even more vintage than what it is. So that goes in there. This is Artie Mays. I believe that's Tsunami Rose. This is also pretty. Some more washi. Little pockets again, just using my scraps, making these little kind of layered pieces there. Uh, like I said, don't know where that's from. Can't remember. I <laughs> uh, think that's Artie Mace, I think. I don't know. I really can't remember. Uh, that's Artie Mace, I know that. In fact, if I don't remember, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> and that. I don't want to tell you the wrong person. Uh, this is from Made in Scraps or Made with Scraps. And here we just have, let me move that, little flip there. But again, that's the fox glove, the bit that was left over from a bigger journal. And that is uh, Butterflies in Blue. Just made a little tucky thing there. And put that on there like that. So this was a lot of fun, just using up the scraps. Um, some more of that washi tape. Another little flip. Another little piece here, that's Tsunami Rose. Another pocket, I believe that's Artie Maze as well. Some vintage ephemera. Another beeswaxed piece. I don't like the feel of that. And that is Tsunami Rose, and that was just a shrunk down page from um, Charming Fragments, I believe. So that is that one. As you can see it's a little chunky one. Let me just show you the other one. So the other one again is using My Porch Prints, and it's one of her uh, butterfly kits. That is the back. We've got some of that lace trim on here. Again, it's all been sewn. String as a closure. <clears throat> Eyelets and string, I should say. Um, some more butterflies. Another pocket inside there. We just have this little girl. That's Tsunami Rose. I think that's Artie Mays. Uh, some more washi tape. Another little flip, little tag that's just paper clipped onto that music paper. And then here we just have a little postcard. And then this piece here, that's St. Patrick's Cathedral, New York City. It's a digital. Be happy. Another little pocket there I made um, using um, this lady here. Some ephemera. 
tag from the old design shop. This is from Dreams Etc. Love that butterfly. I haven't used that kit in ages. Another little pocket. This is magical here. Just some layering there. Well, we have, um, oops, that way around. Little postcard. That's from Artie Mays. I believe that is as well. Little tag. That's from Artie Mays. One of the kits. Can't remember which kit. Some more washi down here. It's pretty. It's got the lovely little um, flower on there and a bird. Two birds, actually. Little banner here with another little postcard. Another little flip. Some more washi with some butterflies. One, two, three, smile. Centre of the signature. Another flip. Here we've just got a little um, ephemera piece paper clipped on there. Some more washi. Some more washi here. Another pocket. Uh, this is my porch prints. So is this, and this has been beeswaxed. A ticket from Artie Mays. This is from one of the Jane Austen kits from Artie Mays. Tag from one of Artie Mays' kits. <clears throat> And then this is the other side of that um, butterflies in blue, and I've just folded that up like that. You could actually glue that and make a, a proper little envelope. And that says create, that's from Dreams Etc. And that is from Artie Mays, that is from, oh, I can't remember what kit that's from now. It's from one of ours anyway. Another little pocket, side pocket here. Uh, this is from My Porch Prince. Salami Rose. Artie Mays. Salami Rose. A little ticket um, corner tuck. Uh, this is from, I think this is Butterflies in Blue as well. Just a little double journal card. We have a tag here that is from the old design shop on Etsy. Some more washi tape, which is butterflies. And then a pocket here. And in the pocket, we just have some ephemera. A tag from Tsunami Rose. That's Tsunami Rose. And then this is it's from Artie Mays, and it's been beeswaxed again. A whole lot. If you haven't tried the beeswax, you should really try it. It is really lovely. Like when I know you can do, like some people just do, um, like little parts of things and just beeswax it. But I was just beeswaxing everything when I got it. <laughs> uh, you know, when you get something new and you just try it out, <laughs> you can't stop yourself. And that is the back page. So that is that journal. So like I said, a um, little bit of a run in there, and these will be listed in my shop. If you have any questions about these, then just please ask and thanks for watching. Bye.